good afternoon class uh, i am karthik assistant professor mechanical engineering department from sns college of technology uh, as i already said this tungsten and glass building uh, we have said it is a type of uh, its a process uh, helps to join two metals with or without filler metal with or without pressure the but here we are using they are non consumable or not melted non melting tungsten electro right so uh, when we come to the gtiw processor the arc develop intensive heat and it is approximately uh, 600 sorry 6000 degrees celsius so that only so that the which melts the surface of the base metal to form a molten pool and here the filler metal is required to make the weld and it is added manually like brazing and for thicker materials an extremely externally fed or cold filler wire is generally used the filler metal is not added when thin materials or edge joints and flat joints are welded uh, so this is known as autogenous welding means that if you are using filler rod uh, addition filler rod for the welding then uh, this is not then it's a normal welding process if the filler rod is not used we are using we are making the weld uh, base metal to melt and join together it is known as autogenous welding here the filler metal is not transferred across the arc but it is melted by it here uh, at the previous type of welding uh, the, uh, filler, the rod is melted and it is transferred with the help of the arc but here it is no way here the filler metal is not transferred across the arc but it is melted the arc area is protected from the atmosphere by the inert gas which flows from the nozzle of the torch so the here the torch contributes only heat to the work piece uh, the melt uh, means that this heat helps to melt the work, melt the filler metal and get coated right so the main advantage is that uh, when compared to any other welding process any other welding process this tick welding or gtw welding gtw produces the excellent quality of welding and has a high precision rate moreover uh, welding more kinds of metals and alloys uh, it can be used for stainless steel nickel alloys titanium aluminum copper brass as uh, compared to the shielded metal arc welding it is mainly used for ferrous metals but this tungsten and cast welding can be used even for non metals uh, and it, it uh, we can say it is more more preferable it is more preferable in, in both filler and uh, sorry both the ferrous and non ferrous alloys so it also can be welded uh, dissimilar metals to each other like copper to brass or stainless steel to mild steel and it's also suitable for all portions we have many portions of welding and it is suitable for all portions uh, the main important point is it's a concentrated dark means that uh, it has a pinpoint control of heat input to the piece uh, when we compare to smaw we have some spatters uh, that means the work pieces will uh, means that the electrode which is melted can uh, uh, spill out but here there is no way it is uh, here it is a concentrated work like a sharp laser so it will uh, so that um, the metal deposition is higher uh, and the it has a very concentrated accurate type of or uh, accurate uh, type accurate uh, build deposition here there is no slack which because we don't have any flux type of components here so the snow slack uh, and that too there will be no distortion no spark spatter or noise and no spokes and hips right so these are the advantages when come to the disadvantage part here lower uh, filler metal uh, metal deposition rate means it is a very concentrated arc so uh, we have a lower metal deposition as already said with the previous uh, video i have set an example that it is mainly used for the root pass welding to fill only 1 mm of uh, weld area so it has a lower metal deposition it has slower travel speed i we have we have to uh, have a hand to eye co coordination means that hand in one hand we are going to have a electrode a tungsten electrode in other hand we are going to use a filler metal which is fed uh, manually uh, sometimes we fed manually so we should have a hand to eye coordination and we should have a arc rays are brighter than the other welding which because uh, it produces 6000 degrees celsius at a fraction of a second that uh, it should be need additional care to protect skins with the proper clothings and welding lenses and uh, it is one of the costly process main application is that it is used in the aircraft industries ship building industries boilers and pressure cell industries mainly on the root pass welding of pipes as i have already said about in the previous video and in this video also it is mainly used in the nuclear industries 
heat exchangers and food processing uh, the small gimps is that in filament metal not required for thin sheets it can be added manually or automatically it can be used as a rod or as a, or a, as in a wire joint is suitable for all welding position deposition rate is very low and it is not suitable for thick materials thank you